first of my productivity tips is this one. Let's look at the timelines and take this splitter bar. Move it away to the right and we can rename our video and audio tracks. And if we're using maybe 10 or 15 timelines, that enables us to keep track of them. It's really useful. However, my real favorite is using hotkeys. Now, PowerDirector has always had default sets of hotkeys and we can also customize our hotkeys. Alt-H brings up our customized hotkey screen and we can put our own hotkeys in for our own special purposes. I have one called Tutorial for when I'm doing tutorials and basically this allows me to do some things very fast. For example, if I want to highlight and group something because I need to insert, well, I can do that. Take everything to the end of the timeline. Alt G groups them. They will remain grouped. And I can insert an item here. They will remain grouped and I can bring that back up to there. So hotkeys are great. So for example, if I position my timeline here, my scrubber, and I put in Alt N, it brings up my insert project dialog box. These are still grouped, remember, and I've set it so that Alt U will ungroup them and then they just return to normal. Hotkeys are really useful. They take a little bit of learning, but once you've got them, they mean you can be very productive. When we insert any media into an open space on the timeline, it just drops in. Inserting clips on or between others gives us a ripple editing pop-up. We can trim it to fit. At the start of another clip, we can use the crossfade feature. Other options are overwriting or inserting and moving all clips to the right. Here, we're combining two projects. Set the timeline marker, go to File, Insert Project, navigate to the project, and there it is. Here's an easy way to apply multiple repeated transitions. In the Transitions library, we can apply random or fading transitions to the whole project. Any transitions can be added to favourites and applied in the same way. We do this by selecting from within the Favourites library. Another great time-saving feature in PowerDirector 12 is copying and pasting keyframe attributes for enhancements, effects and motion. The first clip has been keyframed to fade from grayscale to full colour. Right click and select copy keyframe attributes, then paste to another clip. The same thing applies to effects. Here the blur is set to fade off. Copy the keyframe attributes and apply. A great time saver! Motion set in PIP Designer works just the same. This image is set to zoom from the centre. With just a few clicks, we can apply that to any other clip or image. In order to improve productivity, go to the PowerDirector 12's Preferences room. To access Preferences, Enter Alt plus C on your keyboard or click on the little gear icon. Now you can set your preferred values and settings for the features that you commonly use. These features may include frame rates, controlling pop-up messages, preferred transition type. You can also change the very important import and export folder locations and choose your autosave backup options.
You can even choose to opt in to the Power Director Improvement Program. Another productivity feature in Power Director 12 is the ability to pack your completed project for archiving or portability. I prefer to first create a new folder somewhere on my computer. In Power Director 12, open the File menu and choose the Pack Project Materials option. In the pop-up window, browse for and highlight your new Pack Project folder and then click OK. Now this new Pack Project folder will contain all of your timeline assets. Another feature is to use the Save As option. Using the Save As option, allows you to create a separate PDS file each time you save. By creating a series of PDS files, you can now have different access points to your project that you can fall back on. For many PowerDirector users, this is preferable to using the simple save option, as that just overwrites previous saves, leaving you with only one constantly overwritten PDS file.